Hello, today I'm going to show you how to take your latex garlands to the next level. So we've gone ahead and built our garland. The bulk of that is made out of 12 inch. We've added in some of our 5 inch elements as well. But we just want to up it one more. And to do that we're going to add some foil balloons. The first balloon I'm going to show you how to tie into a garland is going to be an orbs balloon. This is part of um, the ombre range. And to begin with, all we're going to do is create another one of those ribbons. So we're going to take our 260, squeeze all the air out, not let the balloon hit the floor, tie a knot in the end, like so. And then what we want to do is come and find the middle, roughly the middle of our 260, about there. And we're just going to roll the neck of our foil balloon over that 260 right down to the base. Like so. And then tie it off. Just a couple of overhand knots again is absolutely adequate. One knot. And a second knot. Like that. And then we're going to take these two ends of latex, the 260, and tie a knot in those together. That gives us a really nice sturdy loop to use to attach to our garland as you can see right there. So we take our garland, oh dearie me, we take our garland, we take our loop of 260 and we pass that loop, we'll go over this fuchsia loop here, we pass that loop around the balloon, pull everything nice and low side on our spot somewhere around there is probably about right and that fixes our orbs into our garland now we're going to do the same with a standard foil so our standard foils can be attached in the same way we can create a ribbon out of our 260 roll that neck down then and tie it in like that but sometimes you might want a balloon to sit rather than by its end to sit face on like this so the way we're going to fix those is using some um, balloon bond and stretchy balloon tape the first thing we want to do is to get this tail this ugly tail tucked out of the way stuck against the body of the balloon here so I've got a, a small section of balloon bond here I don't need quite as much of that even so I'm going to make sure it's nice and warm peel off our backing pop that on the tail of our balloon here get rid of our rubbish and then we're going to stretch that over the barcode and that just keeps things looking a little bit neater and tidier rather than having that tail hanging out the bottom of the balloon then to fix it we want to create an attachment point on the back of our balloon here and to do that we're going to use some stretchy balloon tape and again our trusty 260s so to begin with I'm going to create another ribbon find the middle of our 260 and the middle of the um, foil balloon as well take one length of um, stretchy balloon tape and lay that over our 260 ribbon just like so and then we're going to use another two smaller pieces to create the letter H really so one piece is going to go across here another one is going to go across here make sure it's really nicely stuck our third and final piece of stretch tape on the back of our foil here I'm going to take these two ends of the 260 again and tie those together so we've got another loop and as you can see that gives us a really strong firm attachment point to whack into our garland I think we will pop this one just on here. Like so. 
and there we've had it there we have it we've upped our latex balloon garland we've added foils in we've made everyone's events extra special